the wonderful Dadgad tuning. You'll have all sorts of ideas about where it came from, who started it, how it developed. But the truth of the matter is, although it's used in many ways, by far and away the most effective way is coming out of the notion of standard tuning and having to finger every string and allowing strings to run free, which automatically encourages single note playing rather than chordal style playing. So your first messing around with dad guts to just do things very simply and just and find the scale. And then once you've got there with that, if your technique is good in other areas, you can find yourself just rooting yourself on that F sharp. There. And just playing around with this. And then you start to hear all the possibilities coming through. And essentially, that the first position, instances of getting through all that, tend to revolve around these sort of shapes here. And you can get these kind of runs. Which are really quite sweet. And of course, once you do that, you're hearing all sorts of different possibilities. You're hearing melodies that can be played in the lower end. Sort of thing, or melodies that are just all top end. And you're hearing that sort of stuff. And it opens up a whole world of possibilities. So I would just like to say, I suppose, that um, start to look at it like that. Think laterally about it. And uh, you can move in between major and minor freely. But don't try and think in block chords, just try and think nice and loose, nice and easy, nice and open. And you can even get a bit of blues in there. Don't strum it. <laughs> oh, is there a break there? Oh, in that case, I'm terribly sorry about that. I sometimes my folk club sets are like this. I don't know when to finish it or where to start. So, so yeah, dad go. Just mess around in dad go. What's this, I wonder? Messing about in Dagat, messing about in Dagat. <laughs>